this is where the machining center starts. And if you'll notice, this is a uh, Challenger 3 carousel. It's all machined after welding. This machine is on 12 foot uh, deep concrete pylons because there can be no vibration. Because we're basically trying to hold to the fourth decimal point on the tolerances of this product. The carousel will return on one degree rotations so that no human hand touches that part once it goes into the machine. And if you come over here, I'll show you what tolerances we're trying to hold. Can you flip that over, bring it up? Now here's the tolerances. He's literally trying, he's, he's trying to go out to the third decimal point and zeros. That's his tolerance that he's shooting for. And if you feel, there's no vibration, even though we're machining heavy steel, because this is on 12 foot deep concrete. We can't have any vibration if we're gonna hold those tolerances. So this is drilling out these placements here. And what it allows us to do is it's extremely accurate. So when a tech goes in and he installs this machine, this carousel, when he puts an arm on it, maybe 28 feet in diameter, but he'll be within a 16th of level across a 28 foot diameter when you do this type of machining. And this machine will do horizontal or vertical milling. It's using a water-soluble lubricant, so it's environmentally friendly, and it holds 99 tools, and it will change its own tools so that you don't have to uh, uh, be changing quickly. It, it's, very, it's quick because it's got a lot to do. Now, everything that goes on in this company is uh, routed, so we know who's making the part, which machine is making the part, when he set up, when he was done, when he started production, and when he ended production. So every part is routed through this way, and you'll see the barcode on the part. So the operator will shoot himself, shoot the part, shoot setup, shoot startup, so we'll know to the second how long it took to make that part. Okay. And all of his scrap will go back and through and into a bin that goes right back to the mills. Okay. Change, it's on a tool change. And that's a deburr. So that's going to come in, and these holes that were drilled, it's going to make sure they're absolute. So even though it was drilled to a tolerance, it's now going to come in and polish the edges to make sure that that tolerance is exactly, because a, a pen for guiding the assembly will go into there. Now one of the issues that we have here, because as we discussed before, we do a 12 hour and a 10 hour shift, we can't have any downtime. Most of our competitors won't have a machine like this because they're quite expensive. We can't afford to be down, so we never have one. We always have at least two of everything we do inside of this company. So this one runs here. The backup is running right over there, right next to it. So there's two of them running. What does a machine like that cost? That machine's about a million and a half dollars, and then the installation and the tooling is about another half a million dollars. So you get a uh, purchase like this about two million. That machine actually was originally designed to make the wings on an Airbus A320. Unbelievable. So they, that's why the bridge can travel to do a, the whole wingspan of a uh, Airbus plane. A little different than what you guys thought it was? Yeah. yeah.